Keras also comes with a lot of optimizers. If you simply search for optimizers and uh, Keras in Google, you should land in this page which, where Keras lists all the optimizers available. Some of the optimizers that are available, for example, are um, the Stochastic Gradient Descent, also known as SGD, RMS Prop, Adagrad, Ada Delta, Adam, Adamax, and Natom. So all of these are actually, except for the SGD, are adaptive, adaptive optimizers. I will explain in a bit what that means, but how to decide what optimizer to use? The answer is that there is no answer. We have to try. Of course, there are some general rules that we can go with. For example, if the input data is very sparse, then usually using adaptive learning rate method helps. But we always want to use adaptive optimizers anyway. The solution is to try all ones with the default learning rates. That is, we don't want to change any parameters with these optimizers and simply use them as they are and see which one works. You can start with something like Atom or RMS Prop or any of these adaptive um, optimizers and either of them should be a good place to start. Now based on the data set you choose, your optimizer may make the model converge faster or slower. For example, in this picture here, you can see that um, the orange one, the SZD one, actually converges much slower Whereas um, others, particularly, for example, the other delta one converges quite faster. The same thing, so this is the loss surface here, that is the surface where we see how high the loss is. At the beginning, we start here with a very high loss. And you can see that the other delta converges quite fast and SGD converges very slowly. So by, by convergence, what we mean is Say here's our, our loss, let's say in y-axis we have the loss values and in let's say x-axis all the possible parameters, all the possible parameters. Then the way we want to calculate loss is we initially obtain certain loss and then we make some movement, we obtain another loss. If you have a big learning rate that is in your, the way after you calculate gradient weight updates, if, if you make big updates then after getting here, Instead of going towards the minima, you may jump across the minima and go to a different place. So you may bounce back and forth um, between your local minima or regions in the loss space, um, not able to go to the global minimum. Now with a smaller learning rate, you can actually, you may be able to reach to the minimum, but the steps you take is, is very tiny each time. So it'll take you much longer to get to the minimum. And the way these adaptive learning um, optimizers work is that they start with start with with big learning rate start with large learning rate and then gradually gradually uh, lower the learning rate lower the learning rate and uh, this is controlled by the momentum parameter momentum parameter that um, that the, all of these learning, um, all of these optimizers accept as input. Now all of them have default values, so we typically don't need to change them. Now one common question that may come to our mind is, how do I know that my optimizer that I've chosen is working or not? So in my model dot fit model dot fit function, when I call this right, I will get outputs in row for every epoch. So here, or maybe after printing the uh, learning curve, plotting the learning curve, you will see that if your accuracy or whatever metric you have chosen is bouncing from, let's say, 70% to 75% and then 81% and then back again 70% and it may be even uh, 69 and then 85. So if it's bouncing up and down without smoothly converging, right, instead of smoothly converging, if it's bouncing like this, that's when you know that it may be time to change your optimizer or change your 
um, change the parameters of your optimizer or even um, modify um, your optimizer by having some non-default parameters.